to the core of that network. Got it, we're recording. And uh, after this, we will go into uh, Republica and the fact that Republica's open call is currently open. Uh, until the 15th of the uh, of January, and that means uh, as GIG members uh, are interested or who, whoever is interested to apply for this year's round, you can have your questions answered. Again, feel free to interrupt me whenever you have a question so that we can go into it. I'm going to go straight into my screen share, into my presentation mode. And I'm going to go into a small presentation that I've prepared for us today. Can you see my screen well? Maybe summed up? Yes, amazing. Yes, amazing. Perfect. Great. So, gig community. And I also, uh, let's start by saying that our community is divided into two parts. That is our online presence, our year-long presence and activities that happen between all members from all around the world. And these online activities really are summed up into community calls and meet the members. So the community calls are uh, a lot of the calls that I invite you and other team members invite you to attend throughout the year. And they yeah. are usually uh, calls that, that target a specific topic or are around a theme that, um, uh, shares a lot of interest from gig members and hopefully connecting more gig members to talk about a specific talk. So you'll find here in my example that we have the New Beginnings talk, which was really successful, had a operate and discuss really at the core of it, uh, starting projects and starting makerspaces in different communities from Iraq, Egypt, and Tanzania. Uh, and this is exactly what we hope to do with this online space is to utilize the fact that we can connect to each other um, fairly easy and uh, discuss important topics and see how we could even utilize the resources that exist between members uh, to help each other. And the business model talk is another example that is more of a serious than, than a pop-up talk and has been also very, very uh, successful because every episode was tackling a different model on how makerspaces and spaces in general can create and generate income to sustain themselves. Uh, it was very nice because we were not we were able through the, the series not only to invite gig members as speakers, but also uh, people from the outside and network of network, which was really great because it allowed us and and insight from, from different people. And then we have our notorious, uh, very famous Meet the Members. And I personally am a big fan. Meet the Members is a format. It's a, it's a monthly uh, call that happens on the last Wednesday of each month at 14 CST and then changing to 17. So two to five, we try to accommodate as much as possible the different time zones to be uh, as inclusive as possible. Uh, and during the Meet the Members, we introduce new members that have recently joined the member, the, the network, but also uh, just hear from each other, you know, chit chat, laugh, talk about updates. Some of them are professional, some of them are less professional. And it's a great space to kind of uh, share uh, once a month. And then if we move to the database, and I put it here because it's another uh, development that we've had uh, uh, created in a couple of years. And this is basically where you can know of other gig members and read more deeply uh, about their work, who they are, what they're interested in. And you can see from that map on our website where um, where our members are located. Again, it's super important for those who have not created the database profile to do that. And this is really because this is the space for you to be discovered by others, but also to discover other members. And I also invite not also people, people that already have the profile to actually update it and go deeper into their activities. You can also message and reach out to members directly without having to go through us. So this is our online part of the community. And then we're going to move on to the offline part. So the offline part means basically when we meet. We're called the Global Innovation Gathering because it started off with us being a gathering where we met in Berlin around the time of Republica, this big 
uh, uh, digital conference or conference that uh, talks about digitalizations, topics of digitalizations happening every year in Berlin. And um, if you see here the picture on the left, this is from last year's gathering. And I, I suppose here this is a, the GA as well. So we take part of our gathering to go into the procedural uh, part of our network, which is uh, voting and reviewing and uh, presenting reports and budgets of our network. So this is a picture of the General Assembly, but also the gathering entails other members giving workshops and talks <laughs> about what they're doing and just eating together, connecting. Such a great thing to have the luxury and the privilege of coming together uh, once a year, especially after uh, years of the corona where it was not possible. So I personally appreciate this a lot and I really value that space. On the right side, you're gonna find here a picture of the makerspace that we build in Republica. Again, Republica is this big uh, conference or festival that is happening around topics of digitalization in Berlin. And we have been uh, really happy to partner up with them 10 years ago, uh, where we're responsible to create this makerspace, which is a stage that is basically um, uh, providing uh, topics or workshops on all the hands-on and, and skill-based stuff. So this has been a great space for a lot of our members to come and uh, to, first of all, present what they've been working on in their countries and their local communities, but also it's a great space to hear from others, not just our members, but others who have and share similar interests in innovation and digitalization and work more on the grassroots level, has a different idea of uh, how things can be done. So as you can see on that in that picture, it's really, it is a table with space for almost 20 participants. They come around that table and they, can learn from here. I can see Vuga, our member. So they learn from members what they've been working on, but also have the possibility to work with their hands to learn. So uh, today, I mean, this summarizes the community part online and offline. This is the main activities. Of course, there are way many other things that are happening in terms of projects, but just to stay centered at the core of, of what the community uh, is about, uh, I decided today to uh, only go through these details. And the next part of my presentation is going to be um, basically telling you more, how can you participate at Republica or our gathering, but mainly Republica, it's a little bit more um, complicated uh, because then you have to submit a session online on their website so it's like dealing with an outside partner so please I mean until this moment does anyone have um, questions um, points I see more people have joined Jaspreet, Emilio, Gretrude, as uh, it's so nice to have you all here so anyone questions and if you have a question, just unmute yourself and go for it because I will not be able, I think, while I share my screen, will not see the hands up. I see something on the chat, maybe. So. Okay, so great. So then we move on. So let's start by saying that uh, this year we're very much excited to be welcoming some of the members that have already you know, came and participated next year, but we're also happy to welcome new members that are have recently joined GIG uh, and also welcome members that uh, did not make it to Republica last year. So we try as much as possible, um, yeah, yeah, to be more inclusive every year and have a, a good amount of members coming. Uh, first of all, before we start, I decided to start with the to-dos because learning from past experiences, there are certain things that we can avoid and would make all our lives very easy, especially in the team. Uh, so I want to ask you first, maybe you want to make a screenshot of this or just note down. Very important is that you save the dates. So our activities are going to happen from the 26th until the 2nd. It's around a week. And this really includes Republica time, but also our global innovation gathering, our gathering time. Uh, so please book the dates, whether you're coming or not. It's good to have this in the back of your calendar. Uh, it saves you. It 
also feel free to maybe invite some members that you or others that you might might be interested or already are in Europe and Berlin to save the dates. And I've sent earlier the calendar invite and the email. If you don't have it, I'm happy to send this one more time. Second thing, and really I put this in red, book your visa appointments. And we do have here a couple of members who have had the unlucky, unfortunate experience with this. Um, so the thing Put down for everyone or just me? I also don't hear Fadia anymore. Same here. Fadia, we lost you. At least we have the room. At least we still <laughs> have the room, so mm. I'll try to ask. Uh, we lost. Hey, can, can you hear me? Ah. Yes. yes. Amazing. Okay, perfect. So I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I'll just keep going from where I was and hopefully uh can you see my screen yes great so as i was saying really important is book your visa appointment uh from past experiences this proved to be the hardest part uh to go through because we have very little control over german governmental offices right and also german embassies all around the world especially at the global south our part of the world um, it can be really painful. As an Egyptian, I relate to the pain of this and I really understand how it's hard. However, it can this pain can be avoided if from very early on, you went on to online and looked for the system of booking uh, your visa and understand when latest can you do that or when earliest actually. The right word is when earliest can you do this if you are coming or you're planning to come on the last week of May. Uh, so that means maybe for some of it, it would be two months or three months before May. Maybe you can do it from now. But really, it was responsible for some people making it to Republica and some people, some members were not able to make it just because they couldn't find a visa appointment. So we had the funding, we had everything ready, and we were just waiting for that visa appointment. So please, 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 highlight that this is your responsibility again we try our best to help as much as possible providing visa letters invitations and everything that is needed uh, but that's sometimes not enough so we will be happy to support with whatever documents write me um, what you need from now and i'm happy to provide it um, yeah soonest so bureaucracy is over let's talk about the creative part the good part is brainstorming an idea so, <clears throat> so mainly what we talk about here is ideas that can be translated into hands-on workshops, workshops that would teach um, uh, others how to do things in our maker space. And it doesn't have to be only hands-on. Sometimes it can also be um, uh, more of a presentation mode, but, um, but, but, always think in terms of creativity, something that is hands-on. Uh, so please brainstorm this idea. The second, the, the fourth step after that would be for you to fill in the gig form. And the gig form is very important. It's our own internal form that I've sent also per email. And this allows us to know who is planning to come this year, whether they make it or not, whether you know if you're making it or not. If you have some you know, interest in coming, then please fill in the form. And the form really and will ask you all questions. It's not very long, but it will ask you all questions about when do you plan to come? What do you want to do? Do you want to participate in the gathering only or do you want to participate in the gathering and Republica? And then what kind of idea do you have in mind to present at the gathering at Republica? And then we will take it from there to help you in the next steps. Uh, um, yeah, so fill in the gig form again i will send the email again where i attach that form if people don't have it uh, but i would say this is the fourth and a very important step last thing is we want this year to encourage more members to collaborate together so the thing is we have very limited spots so republica happens over three days 
this year from the 27th until the 29th of May. And that means that we can only fill around 20 slots for workshops. And it's not only exclusive for gig members because that maker space is actually open for everyone from around the world and also in Germany to apply to. So we do, we, we try our best to bring in, you know, sessions and different ideas from members, but sometimes it's not possible. So I would love not only for the sake of scarcity of slots, but also because it's really awesome. And I've seen this happen last year where you bring, you know, someone, one member from Cuba that's working around decentralized and Wi-Fi connections in rural and remote areas and someone else from Czech Republic, which is basically Eric, if he's here, and just bring them together to talk about something that they're doing differently. And just, it's really great. And I think this is, this highlights a lot of, what we try to do uh, within our network. So think, who would you like to be working with? If you don't know someone, also feel free to talk to us and we are happy to recommend and brainstorm with you who could be the right one to do that. So these are your to-dos. To Just take a mental screenshot if you can. Um, um, and we move on to the next part, which is the, Daniel is here, hello, which is the, um, Again, the steps part. I see Nadite unmuting. Do you have a question, Nadite? Oh, no. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Again, anyone so far, any questions? Laura, Mike, amazing. Okay. Um, a very common mistake. Oops. Ooh. Well, what happened? Yeah. A very common mistake, or not a mistake, but like a confusion that takes place is that I get a lot of emails where people say, I'm trying to submit a session in Republica's website and it's showing me a 401 or a 404, uh, you know, screen, error screen. What did I do? Why is it not working at my part of the world? And I actually used to think that it was, you know, a real like problem from the server or something only to discover later that a lot of people forget a very essential step, which is creating a speaker profile or creating an account on the Republica's uh, website. So you will find on the Republica website a place where you can log in or create a, an account. So please, if you already have a speaker's profile, if you've participated in Republica in one way or another in the past years, then probably you have a speaker profile. If you haven't, then you will need to create a new profile and I really encourage you to take the time to make that speaker profile nice. I have a nice example here. Oh, it's a Ricardo. So of a nice um, speaker profile. Uh, so yeah, it's just part of the speaker profile. Find a nice bio, a nice picture, put information that you think would be relevant for the world because it remains. It's not just only for the session, but it's actually meant as a profile that will be viewed by more or less anyone who writes your name in Republica next to it. So yeah, take the time. First step is, first step after filling in the gig form, now we've had a session, we're ready to kind of submit it, then you create an account or a speaker profile if you haven't uh, done so on Republica's website. And then we move on, submitting a session. This is the step right after, and there are different formats to, discuss, to submitting a session on the website. We have the conference. I start with this one because this also is another thing that is really confusing with members. And I wanna highlight how important it is to pick the right conference, uh, right session format on Republica. Again, this is something that makes our life very hard. When someone submits a session as a conference, when it's meant to be a workshop or a hands-on format for the makerspace, there is no way we can accept it without having to change it first. Either I do it on the back end myself, or I ask the people to resubmit it again as a hands-on session. So again, it's small stuff, but very, very, very important. Um, and then I'm going to move on. So conference, this is the first session format, and this is not necessarily like our maker space, but I still would love to encourage people who would love to speak and give a presentation or give a talk on one of the stages of Republica that they think is relevant to apply using that format. The second one would be, and I hope you can see my screen well, because I can't Okay, I have to hide my speaker's view. Um, is the hands-on and the offstage. Did someone talk or? 
Anyone has a question here? I see some art happening on the screen, which is nice. I don't know. I didn't know that was possible, basically, but it's good to know. And um, yeah, so the hands-on session is basically anyone who would like to do something as a workshop in our makerspace. This is where we accept most of the members. This is the skill-based session format that I was talking about. You go onto the hands-on section and you apply uh, to this format. The offstage, offstage is basically everything that is not a talk and is not a workshop. So this could be an exhibition, and I'm going to talk about this because exhibition is also part of the things that we build in the makerspace, but it can be a flash mob, as you can read here, it can be an, ex an installation experiment, you can really get creative. I remember even we had like a Sanemi at some point coming in with the poetry recitation that he wanted or did actually in Republika all over. So you can really get creative. I feel this area is not utilized and sometimes it has even higher chances of getting accepted because not a lot of people go for that format because they don't know um, if it would be accepted or what is applicable for it i just tell you everything that is not a workshop or a talk goes into the offstage session and for those who would like to exhibit because i wrote this also in my email we do have an exhibition happening at republica in the makerspace where we show some of the devices uh, that are created and some of the items or even catalogs that are created by our gig members and others if you would like to do this i will send more information but it will go into the offstage session and I think with this, we have come to the end of our presentation. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to go back and I would love to hear from you. Can you hear me? Yeah, thank God. Imagine if, if you weren't able to hear me. <laughs> so... Uh, First of all, questions regarding everything that I've said. Maybe if you have an idea. Again, last thing I want to say, we had this, uh, this theme this year, and I think it's very relevant to everything that's happening around the world. We want to talk about crisis catastrophes, uh, climate catastrophes in, in the bigger sense. So I also would like to encourage and hear from you, what do you think about this theme? If you have something that you want to contribute. Uh, but like there is this feeling of urgency somehow, and it's also portrayed in the theme for for Republicas uh, for Repu of Republica this year, who cares, right? It's like a ironic way or, um, yeah, it's an ironic way of saying like we have to care, uh, I think at least. So I'd love to hear more from you. If you have questions, do you plan to apply? Yeah. Uh, I think I'd like to go first. Yeah, I was uh, planning to apply for a conference and uh, uh, that I previously shared about the makerspace that uh, that uh, we established in Cox's Bazaar, uh, focusing on children and um, mostly the age group of uh, 6 to 18. And that was, a, uh, I'm just giving a little bit context of the, uh, that space. Uh, that is a no power space uh, so we have some uh, government rules and regulations at the camp. We can actually use, get the access of uh, electricity there. So we established a no power lab over there and children are already being engaged uh, with this lab. And the first batch will be graduating in December uh, 31st. So yeah, big cheers too for those people who are actually engaged uh, in this uh, space. So uh, initially, uh, that was uh, focused on no power lab, but we uh, transit. Uh, we have a transitional pivot on uh, the concept, and that became a green no power lab. Uh, so everything is uh, more relevant to the environment and making those um, um, refugees um, resilient to climate uh, inside the camp areas. Um, that was the uh, main idea. Uh, that is the main idea. So I would love to make a uh, session uh, on the uh, on exploring the uh, scopes of uh, how to uh, collaborate on um, sort of uh, these approaches because the uh, the uh, concept is a bit different than the digital fabrications. But I would also love to hear uh, from some people who actually. Uh, worked in a uh, humanitarian context and um, in uh, in sort of uh, conflicting zones 
with limited resources. So I'm uh, initially uh, designing the uh, things. So uh, if anyone interested to uh, collaborate or uh, participate, uh, I would love to have a uh, meeting or a call with, uh, with, the, uh, with the members. And I also uh, would love to have some support in designing the session. Yeah. Amazing. That is Actually, one yeah. This, sorry, please continue. I don't want to interrupt. Okay, okay. And uh, for the maker space or for specifically for the gig, uh, gig network, uh, the another plan is I am working on a model that is a uh, decision making tool. Uh, I call it uh, the uh, development front end tech uh, anchor model. So I'm uh, basically trying to develop a uh, framework so that we can, uh, when we are uh, working on a specific concept that is new in the uh, ecosystem, uh, so that we can actually uh, uh, forecast the uh, ending of the project or the impact. And they have uh, it uh, initially have uh, 12 parameters to understand uh, how the model uh, would look like. So there is a four quadrant spider model and uh, from those things, we can actually get the essence of how, how the implementation will be look like. So that is a separate thing that I want to share and that I designed as a board game. So that would be a hands-on uh, approach to uh, uh, work on it and also to assess the feasibility, how much that actually can be con contextualized in the other part of the world. Um, that is one thing that I would love to have a discussion in the geek community. I, I think, th I mean, this is exactly what I was hoping to hear. It's amazing what you're sharing. I think both of them are something uh, very applicable and plausible. And I just have this idea now uh, in order to facilitate the discussion further between gig members is that we create after this uh, session, maybe a WhatsApp group, a community group that would be open for this period uh, and where you can write exactly that. So maybe people here who would be interested to join, uh, you just join it, you know how to join it on the community or just maybe write me down a message here in the, in, in the chat and I, I'm happy to add you. But I think Sayed, what you're saying is really good. I want to highlight that, first of all, we encourage members to apply for conference sessions. We do not decide on the, we have way more authority, like we're more, I mean, we are the partners, we are the co-creators in the maker space. So we decide who, who takes, uh, um, we decide who makes session in the maker space however we do have a little bit of recommended recommendation suggestive power to republico when it comes to the sessions and we push a lot into this idea of global perspective and making this conference a little bit more global and international so i would love to highlight this we don't necessarily you know i mean we don't guarantee anyone's session anyhow but we have less power when it comes to uh speaking um when it comes to the speaker session, I do also want to highlight that there are different stages and different formats within the speaking itself. So there are like big stages. These are mainly reserved for like keynote. And we really try to bring also members from, from gigs to speak on their stages. I don't feel or think that they should be exclusive to anyone uh, and that gig could make it with uh, just like anyone else who've made it on on these big stages, but there are also smaller smaller stages that are more intimate, very nice to to uh, to be on. And there's also the meetup format. Usually, is open around the very end of of Republica for people to submit, or as actually so a lot of times also curated by us and Republica. So the meetup format is a more of like an intimate way of people coming together to discuss a certain topic. So I do encourage that people apply for. Uh, things there are none uh session workshoppy hands-on uh um format and i will do this uh group where you can add everything that you've said and see who can collaborate on thank you so much um oh thank you so much emilio for being here so happy to have you and hopefully we'll see you soon just want to go to answer also Mike's question because he had a question here about can you share your initial idea in the group before submitting and we can work on oh someone is yeah okay um, so that Sandra's uh, uh, answer to Mike asking what happens so basically in the past years people would submit directly and it still is the case it's everyone's uh, responsibility to submit directly in Republica's website however you would have to drop us a note somewhere we used to 
do that like informally you're writing an email writing uh, a whatsapp message saying i submit a session or i do that but as i said we'd hope this year to be able to create a little bit more and even work on the sessions together as a network and and you know to increase the the quality of ideas but also to see if we can bring and bring members together to do awesome sessions so i still would encourage of course no you can absolutely go directly on the website and apply your session you know it's it's open for everyone right so it's we have no exclusive right to that but really in the spirit of doing something together as a community uh i think it would be great if you can drop us a line and we can see how we can work together before you submit your session uh on the website i hope this answers your questions and i see hamid just joined or maybe he was here from uh time before Any hello, more hello. questions? Hi, Hamid. Hello. It's good to have you. Yes, I'm here. Good to be here. Uh, maybe we can, if no one has questions, that means I did a good job explaining. So thank you. <laughs> oh, I see some nodding. It's so great. I then I will take this opportunity to maybe just give you some ideas on on things that happened in the past years and why Republica. So we've partnered since, uh, as I said, ten years ago. We've been the partners of uh, uh, Republica into creating this um, makerspace, but also bringing this global perspective in and allowing Republica you know, helping Republica become more international and more global and bring a new vision into innovation, what's happening around. So we really do cherish your input because we think that, you know, what you guys bring in is something that is not foundable easy in Republica and different parts in Germany and in Central Europe. So we really do hope that we can accommodate as many of you as you to come. Um, another thing is it's a really nice opportunity to kind of be on stage. Sometimes the stages are... are video like uh they take videos of it it's a huge conference with a lot of hype and and uh, a lot of energy going around it's a great place to network with people outside of our network uh the makerspace itself is usually the spot where a lot of people are coming to chill and do things we usually use we also build like 3D print, like we bring a maker space in, right? So we have 3D printers and other machines that are used. Uh, Daniel has helped us so much in the past couple of years build awesome uh, maker space. So, and hopefully he'd be able to support us again this year in doing this. Uh, so it's a place really where you can learn everything about making and play around and socialize and we'd hope to keep it like this and it's only possible because of your energy and what you do and one other thing i want to say is that we also take some of our members who don't apply um, with sessions that still want to attend republica they can also come as volunteers so we do have some slots uh, and it's usually how the maker space is run it's really run on the members taking care of it in sessions like in in you know consecutive hours system uh, where they come in make sure that everything is working and running smoothly. Uh, so it's like a beautiful space where it's, it's built with the energies of, of our network. And I would love and uh, would love to see this happening and continue to happen. But just wanted to say also that there is opportunity of you becoming a volunteer in the makerspace, which would allow you more or less access to, um, to the conference. So by show of hands, who plans to apply here? So maybe you can raise your hand. Who's going to apply for Republica this year? Oh, I see, I see. Nice, nice, nice. Amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lovely. That's it. That's the spirit. Okay, guys, this is amazing. I'm going to make sure to, to, um, to have this WhatsApp group created as soon as possible please write down your ideas maybe we're going to have a working doc a google doc where you can just copy paste if you already have something or writing something for the session and see who's gonna collaborate on what i'm very excited and we try to make it as um, smooth as possible is there a list of equipment in the makerspace yes there is a list and we try to make it available for we don't try we actually make it available in the help of Daniel and X Hein, which is another makerspace that uh, builds 
um, our makerspace. So they give us a list of the equipment. We also have the possibility sometimes to express our needs. So this is also great. So if you have a certain idea at the very beginning and you feel like you need a certain equipment, maybe this equipment would be uh, available for you if we ask for it. Um, so yeah. Precious plastic is also a very interesting topic because we've had precious plastic as part of the makerspaces back in the days, like before three years for sure. And now, right now, I'm in conversation with precious plastic again and, and really uh, talking about possibilities of things to do together this year because they would like to come again to Republica and our makerspace. And I think this is nice. So if you have ideas, Sarah, if you have some ideas, maybe you can just drop me a message on WhatsApp and I can, I'm happy to take this idea and see uh, if it's applicable and maybe we are able to bring them as well. But yeah, good point. Very nice. Okay, I think we have a few minutes to go. I mean, uh, we can also leave early, but let's open the floor for one last time. Anyone want to say something, share something with us, tell us about their idea. Now is your time. I think the, the, the care stuff relates very much to the makerspace, you know, Fajr, uh, it's so nice to see so many people here uh, interested in submitting because uh, as long as we've been involved in Republica, we know how we care each other, you know, we know how gig delegation, it's so different from many other delegations, you know, because sometimes we have the massage because... <laughs> You know, the music, the massage. So I think we can really think together in care in a broader sense, you know, as La Fuente says, the care, as take care of other, take care of nature, take care of health and so on. So take care of the water, you know, and all these things. So I think we can make a shot this year in Republica with caring very well everyone in the place you know absolutely i mean the makerspace for me personally is the loveliest space to be in hanging around during republica uh, i see shyla saying yeah uh, about sharing about panelists yes absolutely also if you want to form a panel or a discussion panel or meet up or even if you want to speak on the stage i think you can share this I think, again, in this WhatsApp group, we'll have a Google Doc or a Doc, an open Doc, where people can put directly their ideas and can be viewed by everyone. This is the most practical way that I can think of for now. Uh, and yes, Mustafa, it is really about having fun and making so much stuff in the makerspace. So that's the spirit that we'd like to keep. This has been amazing. Thank you so much for showing. I would love to uh, advertise the next session on DOTS. So this was our first DOTS session, our online conference. Uh, the next session is going to happen in an hour, if I remember correctly. And maybe, Sandra, you want to take a moment to explain? <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's happening in 15 minutes. So uh, directly after this session, just having a break to stretch and to have other things that you want to do in your break um, but I would love to talk with you about um, diversity especially about like hearing about the experience you have with um, diversity in your initiative uh, like what works well um, in, in your initiatives uh, it, whether it's a global network or a local makerspace or a local innovation hub and what are you maybe struggling with? Um, so these kind of things I would love to, love to hear about and exchange ideas and things that worked well so far for me. Incredible. So thank you, everyone. Dotser is a place for us to shape get together. So don't underestimate these sessions. It's really about coming together to create our network and create that community day after day. So please take, if you have an hour, another hour of your day, take the time and come to the next session. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. And you can also stay Thank in you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.